Xiaomi is becoming immensely popular lately and if you're a subscriber to the channel you know that I've been trying to make my house smarter, more energy efficient and more cozy as well every single day. Today I want to go over the most popular Xiaomi smart home gadgets that I've come across and share with you how I've set up a smart home. So let's dive right into it. Over the last couple of months I've been installing many smart home gadgets and for example I've installed LED strips and LED light bulbs and the moment you walk into a room they will turn on automatically but only when the amount of lux is too low. The temperature and humidity sensor runs 24 hours a day and turns on the humidifier or an air conditioning when needed. And I know when my flowers need water because of the plant monitor and pots that we have around the house. In order to get started you basically need only two simple things. The first one is of course the Xiaomi Mi Home app and you can download it from any kind of app store. So let's do that right away first. From there we need to create an account and most important set the server to mainland China for the best working experience for now and from there you can start. Number two on the list and you need of course some smart home gadgets that I have for example over here. But for the best smart home experience we need some sort of a base station, a hub or as Xiaomi calls it a gateway in order to communicate to the sensors and some other smart gadgets. Many smart gadgets will work with the Xiaomi Mi Home app even without the base station. But in order to give you an understanding of how many Xiaomi products and how many Xiaomi ecosystem products exist, you can open the application and you can go to the device section in the Mi Home app and scroll through around 300 or more smart home products. Now those range from security to lightning and from entertainment to kitchen electronics. Whatever you can think of, most likely Xiaomi or one of its ecosystem companies will have a product for it. To come back to the base station, the hub or as Xiaomi calls it the gateway, it already has many functionalities by itself. You can set up a nightlight for example, play the internet radio, set an alarm clock, use it as a doorbell ringer or a home alarm, but most important, connect the sensors to it. The gateway is connected to the router and via the gateway you can interact with the sensors via the Mi Home application. Some products can be used as a standalone and connect directly to the router, for example the smart LED light bulbs. As of uploading this video, Xiaomi has more than 10 sensors, different kind of sensors and one of them is for example the temperature and humidity sensor. But they also have sensors for doors and windows and they have a smoke detector as well. You can make a rule for example that when the humidity reaches a pre-specified level the humidifier should turn on or off. In order to get you started with your smart home and all the automation rules, grab your phone, open the Mi Home application and from there in the top right corner you have add device. Here you have to add all of your devices and input the details that the application is requesting and follow all of these steps. Now once you see the device in your list, you can go to the animation tab at the bottom of the display. From there you will have some suggested featured animation settings from Xiaomi. Scenes will display the animations that you already have running currently. And logs, well that probably explains itself. Now click on the plus icon in the top right corner and select the gadget that you want to automate. I want for example that whenever I enter the house, the light in the hallway turns on. So I go to the motion sensor because if it detects motion and the indoor brightness is weak then my Xiaomi Philips E14 lamp should turn on. There are many other options to select from but for now let's stick to this. We can also select what time period it should be active and if you are selected your period click OK and give it a name as you can remember and your first automation rule is now in place and as you can see it works. Xiaomi doesn't only allow you to connect to other gadgets, it also allows you to completely manually do stuff, set timers or more interesting, use the outdoor weather changes. If you have for example the Xiaomi Smart Curtain Monitor, then you can set that whenever it's sunrise or sunset, it should open or close the curtains. For now there is a certain limitation to it for everybody outside of China. For example I'm in Europe, but if you select the Europe server then not all the 300 gadgets are listed in the Add Device tab. The other thing is when you want to use the outdoor weather changes functionality then you can only select Chinese cities and you know you can't 
So like with the Ch Chinese server, um, that shit is for example. So you can't use the sunrise and sunset functionality. And that is kind of sad, but if you know how much Xiaomi improved over the last couple of months or even one or two years, then it's just a matter of time until they improve this functionality because the sunrise and sunset, but also the particles in the air, etc., which is being monitored by a lot of companies and institutions, is a really nice feature to integrate in the Mi Home app for European users. So it's just a matter of time. Along with all those sensors, Xiaomi also released a magical cube in order to trigger tasks. You have light switches that turn the LED bulbs into smart LED bulbs, or set for example a rule that when you press both buttons at the same time, all the lights in the house should turn off. There are really so many gadgets in Xiaomi's portfolio that the possibilities are endless or the automation rules are endless and you can combine it in so many different and sometimes even difficult ways that you can create a whole smart house for a relatively inexpensive price. For example, when the air quality outside drops, you can say for example or create a rule that whenever the air quality drops, then turn on the air purifier or when the temperature in the room is at a pre-specified level, your electric heater or air conditioning should turn on or off. Or for example, that between 7 and 9 in the evening, the fire detector should stop monitoring because you're cooking and that your robot vacuum cleaner should start cleaning your floor after 9 a.m. because you left for work. There is of course, and you can of course, do so much more with all of these smart home gadgets and the integration with Google is now a whole lot better than a year ago between Xiaomi and Google. You can also use Apple's HomeKit for example, or the If This Then That application. But that's something for your next step. I also didn't mention that there are more devices that act as a gateway, so it's not really necessary to get this kind of gateway if you don't like the design for example. You can get the air conditioning controller for example, and it will do exactly the same job, and you can even connect Xiaomi's electric scooter to the app, but there's no automation rules possible then. So just figure it out because it's super interesting to learn and to see how much you can automate and do with this application it's so endless that even today i've set up my whole smart home i'm still playing around with the application and try to see where i can improve on how to make automation rules more simplified or more interesting for now i will leave it up to you to make your house more smarter more interesting more energy efficient or more cozy whatever you decide you want to put the focus on for now i want to ask you do you have a smart house do you plan to purchase some smart gadgets or do you already have a lot of automation rules in place and let us know in the comment section down below if you want to get started with your smart home for the very first time i've put some links in the video's description with the most popular and most interesting xiaomi gadgets that you really need in order to get your kickstart and automate your whole house. If you want to see more Xiaomi videos and other interesting tech and tutorial videos, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the on the bell icon for all of the notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something from it, and I hope to see all of you in the next one.